the LSD was considered to be the radical wing of the pro democracy camp by its political beliefs and tactics. It was formed by legislators, social activists, and grassroots residents. It aims to be a clear cut opposition party and defend the interests of the grassroots. It opposes the wealth inequality created by collusions between the government and corporations. It positions itself as a social democratic party and believes that a just society can be achieved by redistribution of wealth, economic intervention and direct democracy. <laughs> Members of the party pioneered the use of theatrix and disruptive tactics in Hong Kong. Heckling and the throwing of projectiles have since become a frequent occurrence at legislative council and public meetings. Their members have been ejected from leg co meetings on numerous occasions. At a legislative council meeting on 15 October 2008, during the policy address given by then Chief Executive Donald Tsang, Party Chairman Wang Yuk Man threw a banana at Tsang in protest at the means test of fruit money, old age allowance for the elderly. At the opening of an exhibition at the Museum of History on 2 March 2011, Steve Wong Chun Kit, member of the League of Social Democrats, rushed at Donald Tsang. Protesters also threw cooked rice at Sang, as a symbol of the plight of the poor, but missed him. Sang said his chest was hit by the protester and had a medical check at the Queen Mary Hospital afterwards. Sang denounced the protest, saying that violence was unacceptable in Hong Kong, where civilized behavior and the rule of law were fundamental values. However Leung Kwok Hung said he did not see any physical contact between Sang and protesters. Steve Wong was arrested and released on bail. At Tsai Leung's first question and answer session as chief executive at the Legislative Council in Hong Kong on 16 July 2012, long hair, Leung Kwok Hung threw an effigy of Pinocchio at Tsai Leung. Leung Kwok Hung threw a cloud-shaped cushion at Financial Secretary John Tsang during his budget report in the Legislative Council on 27 February 2013 to demand for a universal retirement protection scheme. At a political forum on 7 December 2013, one member was captured by the media throwing a lufsig, a cuddly toy wolf at Tsai Leung. In May 2012, Leung Kwok Hung, the only LSD member in the Legislative Council joined a weeks-long filibuster staged by Albert Chan and Wang Yuk Man, who were LSD legislators but defected to the people power, submitting 1306 amendments altogether to the Legislative Council Amendment Bill 2012 by which the government attempted to forbid resigning lawmakers from participating in by-elections as the government's response to the five constituency referendum movement, launched by the LSD in 2010. On the morning of 17 May 2012, Jasper Sangyok Singh, President of the Legislative Council adopt Article 92 of the Standing Order, which allows the President follow foreign parliament rules for unregulated behaviors to terminate the debate. In the end, all amendments were defeated and the bill was passed. In May 2013, the LSD and People Power staged a month-long filibuster by moving a total of 710 amendments on the budget appropriation bill debate, to press for a universal pension scheme and a 10,000 Hong Kong dollars cash handout to be included in John Sang's budget. The government warned that the service would shut down if the budget bill do not pass. Jasper Sang ordered to end the filibuster on 13 May after 55 hours spent to debate 17 of the 148 amendments. The appropriation bill was passed on 21 May 2013 with 684 amendments negatived. The LSD was founded on 1 October 2006. The two legislative councillors, Leung Kwok Hung, activist from the April 5 Action Group, and Albert Chan, former Democratic Party member, were the founding members. Radio host, author and former journalism professor Wang Yuk Man became the first chairman of the party. In the participation in the 2007 chief executive election of Alan Leong, the League of Social Democrats refused to cooperate with the Democratic Party and the Civic Party and criticized the two parties for nominating Leong as chief executive candidate, saying that they are not qualified as Democrats. In the 2006 election committee election, the League was criticized by media for refusing to name a candidate in protest at the small circle election. The LSD won six seats its first attempt in the election in the 2007 district council elections. In late December 2007, the vice chairman of the party, 
Lo Wing Lok, resigned after a controversy over the lack of documentation on the lease of the party headquarters. According to Lo, the premises belonged to an alleged triad member who claimed to be a merchant. In the 2008 Leg Co elections, the party emerged as the sixth largest party in the legislature by gaining over 10% of the vote and winning total of three seats with Chairman Wang Yuk Man winning a seat in the Kowloon West Geographical Constituency and Leung Kwok Hung and Albert Chan retained their seats respectively. The LSD fiercely criticized the other Democratic parties during the campaign. In Kowloon East Andrew to Kwan Hang has accused the Democratic Party of wrongly backing the government's move to privatize the Link Right Investment Trust, thus paving the way for hefty rent rises in public housing commercial and parking facilities. In Kowloon West, Chairman Wang Yuk Man lambasted the Civic Party's Claudia Mo Manqing in the same way he did the candidates from the pro-Beijing, pro-government flagship party, the Democratic Alliance for the Betterment and Progress of Hong Kong, DAB, accusing the Civic Party of applying double standards in its fight for democracy, and being elitist. The party was member of the Alliance for Universal Suffrage which consisted of all the pro-democracy groups to strive for the 2012 universal suffrage of the Chief Executive and Legislative Council. In response to the electoral reform package proposed by the government, the party joined hand with the Civic Party to launch the five constituency referendum by having five legislators resigning and participating in a territory wide by election to demand genuine universal suffrage. The claim of by election as referendum expectedly received serve attacks from the Beijing government and the pro Beijing camp in Hong Kong as unconstitutional. The Democratic Party refused to join the movement and sought for a less confrontational way to negotiate with Beijing. The movement was considered as failure with only 17.7% of the registered voters voted despite all three LSD legislators successfully returned to the Leg Co. The LSD strongly criticized the Democratic Party for its move to negotiate with Beijing and voted for the reform package and attacked the Democratic Party in the following 2010 July 1 March. The party was also heavily devastated from the intra-party struggles. The former chairman Wang Yuk Man disagreed with the policies of the incumbent chairman Andrew to including the ways of dealing with the Democratic Party. In November 2010, Wang Yuk Man's protege Edward Yum led a no-confidence motion against to which was defeated by 111 to 170 at an extraordinary general party meeting. After the failure of toppling Tu's chairmanship, on 24 January 2011, Two of the three legislators of the party, Wang Yuk Man and Albert Chan quit the party with many parties' leading figures, citing disagreement with leader Andrew Tu and his faction. About two hundreds of their supporters joined them, leaving the LSD in disarray. Wang and Chan formed the People Power with other defected members and radical groups which aimed at sniping Democratic Party in the upcoming 2011 District Council elections. The party lost all its seats in the district councils in the district council elections in November. All four of the party's seats were swept by the pro-Beijing candidates, including that of Andrew to for Chuck Yuan North constituency. Twenty-three other league candidates also failed to win. Two days later, Andrew to resigned as chairman, to take responsibility for the loss, but pledged not to alter the LSD's ideology for the sake of winning elections. Leung Kwok Hung replaced to as the chairman of the LSD. In February 2016, the party selected its sixth executive committee and new leaders. Avery Ng succeeded Leung as the new chairman and Raphael Wong and Derek Chan Tok Chung as vice chairman. In the 2016 Legislative Council election, the LSD formed an electoral alliance with another radical Democrat people power as they were facing serious challenges from the newly emerging radical localists. The alliance won two seats in total with Seoul League legislator Leung Kwok Hung and People Power's Ray Chan being re-elected in the new territories east. Former LSD legislator Albert Chan failed to help LSD's Raphael Wong to be elected despite him standing as a second candidate in the new territories west. LSD chairman Avery Ng also lost his bid in Kowloon West. In the 2017 chief executive election, LSD legislator Leung Kwok Hung launched his chief executive bid in February 2017 through a public nomination mechanism, in which he would seek to secure 37,790 votes from members of the public, 1% of the city's registered voters before he would canvass for the nominations from the election committee. Leung dropped out from the race on 25 February after failed to gain enough nominations from the public, 
secured only 20,234 nominations. In July 2017, Leung Kwok Hung was unseated with three other pro-democracy legislators due to their manners at the oath-taking ceremony at the inaugural meeting, where Leung had used it as a platform to protest since he was first elected in 2004, which made the LSD lost its only seat in the legislature. In 2019, in the aftermath of the massive Hong Kong pro-democracy protests two prominent members of LSD namely, political and LGBT activist Jimmy Sham and Citizens Radio founder Sang Kinshing were elected in the 2019 district council elections as part of the electoral landslide by the pro-democracy camp. In spite of this, Leung Kwok Hung was narrowly defeated in his bid to unseat incumbent lawmaker Starry Lee in the Decay WA Wan North in the Kowloon City District Council. Wang Yuk Man, 2006-2010 Andrew Daquan Hang, 2010-2011 Tang Kui Chung, acting 2011-2012 Leung Kwok Hung, 2012-2016 Avery Ng Man Yuan, 2016-2020 Raphael Wang Ho Ming, 2020-present. Lo Wing Lok, 2006-2007 Andrew Daquan Hang, 2008-2010 Avery Ng Man Yuan, 2012 to 2016 Raphael Wang Ho Ming 2016 to 2020 Leung Kwok Hung 2020 present Michael Mok Kwok Fung 2006 to 2010 Li Y Yi 2008 to 2010 Avery Ng Man Yuan 2010 to 2012 Tang Kui Chung 2012 to 2014 Raphael Wang Ho Ming 2014 to 2016 Derek Chan Tok Chung 2016 Yako Chow Nok Hang 2018-2020 Jimmy Sham TSZ Kit, 2020-present.